let's get this going right here because we kind of need to finish this off. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we met Sword, uh, Swordward and Shieldbert, two really cocky, smug assholes. I guess they're from royalty. I don't know. They didn't like our girlfriend Sonya's book. It was that thing right there, and well... Now we got a, a new mission right here in the post game, as you probably already noticed. I've shown you both battles from Sword, uh, Swordward and uh, and Shieldbert, and now we have to go back to the first town that we've ever been to to go meet up with Sonya because apparently there is something big going on right now. So let's go right ahead and right on right here. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering: Am I going to feature all the battles of Swordward and Shieldbert onto this whole thing? No. I've just realized by looking at the guidebook right here that they're basically the same thing. Their Pokemon are just leveled up by two every single time you battle them. So that the battles that I just showed you, those were going to be the battles that you're going to be seeing from Swordward and Shieldbert. Uh, if you guys are wondering what is going on in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now what we're going to do right here in the post game is that I am actually going to be showing you the Dynamax Pokemon that we're going to have to be battling from both versions. Because remember, we still have... Eight different badge or eight different gyms in both sword and shield, and well, I kind of want to show them all to you right here. So now we got to go straight to the lab right here where Sonya's at. Oh yeah, she became a professor in the last episode, so that's pretty awesome. Stepped up, she's out of our league, but guess what? I don't care. I like a challenge. And well, would you look at that? Hmm. Professor Sonya, you have a visitor. Hey, Driven. Glad you're here. Who's this? She's my assistant. I've been so busy with my research lately that I had to bring uh, bring on some extra help. I've been I've been keeping all uh, keeping uh, all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me to keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing uh, all, all that much. You're Draven, the champion, right? Yes, I am. I'm really glad that I got to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you have, I want you to have a look at. No, whatever you say, baby. And I will see you in a little bit, too. Okay, so... Apparently, there's, uh, there's something pretty big going on right here. You remember about my power spot detector, right? It detects places where Dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those uh, two uh, when those two got close. So what does that mean? Basically, follow the readings from the power spot detector, and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Hmm. You don't say. Swordward and Shieldbert may claim to, to be royalty with their weird, fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Yeah, I. We're, yeah, we, 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 we're reading each other's minds. These two guys are, are weird, and uh, of course, um, I don't want to say it. Well, I kind of want to, kind of do, but Swordward's hair kind of looks like a dick, so yeah. should call him Penis Head or something like that. I don't even know. Let's get back to topic, though. I place Power Spot Detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. Oh, wow. The Power Spot Detectors Axis. And, whoa, look at that. So, I guess we have a power spot detector. And now, the thing is that we have to locate these power spot Pokemon right here. The uh, Wherever Pokemon are Dynamaxing out of control, that's where we're going to. And as you can see right here, the first of many Pokemon happens to be in Turfield. If you guys don't remember, that is the first place we actually got our first gym badge. Now... This is basically going back to the gyms. Every single one of these gyms. That's why I said we're going to be, you know, I'm going to be showcasing a lot of stuff right here. So, from what it looks like, whoa, whoa, that's what, that was a bigger reaction than I uh, would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium? You can always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not an exact unusual, or that's not an exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus. You've already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those sword and shield weirdos. 
You should go check it out, Draven. Since you're the snazzy new dra champion and all, I've set up your town map to show uh, where the strong particle reactions come from, so you can have a look at it. Okay, so it looks like that we actually have to go to Turfield and actually see what is going on right here. Now, like I said, guys, I am going to showcase, let's see, the extra two Pokemon from both Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, before we do anything, I've been reading on the comments, guys. I really have, and uh, some of you guys have been saying I'm a little, I'm a little plain, a little bland with the dr the type of dressing that I, I, I I've been partaking. I get it. I know I'm not the best dresser and all that stuff, but I guess it's time for me to actually start buying some new, uh, some new threads right here. That way, I can actually start looking a little bit better than what usual. So I'm gonna. Well, as you can see, there, the, these, these outfits are. Yeah, they, they cost a lot of money, so... Yeah, and plus, there, there's not a lot of... <laughs> not a lot of stuff that I can actually buy right here. Now, there is one thing that you can actually buy, and that is... Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Ah, the uniform ones, I guess. I don't even know. Hold on. Uh, I guess in the uniform department, you can actually buy the Champion Edition... Uh, uniform too so that is something that we're probably going to get to uh, eventually right here now the first place we have to actually go to is turf field so let's go right ahead and not do that let's go ahead and do use the town map and head straight to turf field now i'm trying to think is there anything of importance that i need to catch or that i need to get before i get to turf field actually you know what let's start it off right here in motostoke now that we have to take an adventure, I am going to show you guys a few things that we need to actually grab or, you know, find uh, before we go to uh, Turfield. Now, there is an individual right here that you can actually find. Actually, hold on just a sec. There's two things that you can actually find right here. Now, if you go straight up to the, uh, well, to the, the main stadium right here, you'll be able to find the ball guy. And, well, let's see. Once you get to the ball guy right here, talk to him. Hi there, champion. I've been waiting for you. If I can become mates with the champion, then maybe I can finally become an official mascot of the gym challenge. Oh, before I forget, you were able to become champions thanks to my cheers, right? So here's something to make sure you don't forget your old friend, the ball guy. A super rare league card. You'll be the envy of every collector out there, I promise you. Don't worry about the the card's slight wrinkling. That's just because everyone tried to get their hands on it. I know it looks like a common one, but mark my words, it's a true treasure of the league card. So here we get the ball guy's league card. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. We haven't we haven't looked at these at all, but might as well uh, look at this one right here. So here is the ball guy's uh, league card. It does look wrinkled and it looks like he drew it himself. Wow, holy crud. Okay, so finally received this one, and as you can see, this mysterious figure has taken it upon himself, herself, to dress up in the fashion of the Pokemon League's official mascot. The mysterious individual is known to many as the ball guy, but in point of fact, all are mystified when it comes to, the, uh, to this person's true identity or age or even gender. While the ball guy is known for her, his habit of hand in, handing out rare Pokeballs where here and there around Galar, it's a mystery as to why or even where these uh, po these balls come from. It's all just mystifying. Now I can just, I can assure you guys this, that those balls come from Johto, I believe. And uh, well, that's nice right there. So now let's go straight to Turfield. Now we're taking the long way because there are a few things. There is also another person here that we actually want to meet up with. I just need to find him. Let's see. I think it's right here somewhere. Hold on. Hold the phone. Found ourselves a Poke Doll, which we could have gotten a, a while back. And, well, let's see. Where, oh, where can I find this guy? Where, oh, where can I find this guy? Now, there is an individual right here that told us once we become champions to go talk to him at some point. And, well, let's see. Maybe it's right here somewhere. No, nope, not right there. I, I could have swore to God that like, it was right here. One of these machinery places and stuff. 
Huh. Hold on just a sec. I'm trying to read this thing. Let's see. Where are you? Where, oh, where could this guy be? Let's see. Ah, here we go. I am looking at the tutorial thing right here. And, well, let's see. Ah, I think I know where he's at. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Use the super speed of my bike. We get run over right here. So let's see. Um, is there anything else I need to talk about? So in my last episode, I did say that you know I, I I came back a little earlier than expected, guys, because I thought that this would be the end of uh, the the first part of my adventure here in Pokemon Sword and Shield. But I guess I was wrong, mainly because there are well there there's still quite a few things that we need to cover here. That is the post game right here, and you know I didn't want to leave here without you know giving you guys a post game and all that stuff. So that is exactly what's going on. After that, well, I'm kind of hoping to finishing this walkthrough or this uh, this post game before the end of um, before the end of this month. That way we can get started with Pokemon Sun, and there he is. And how am I doing it? I don't know. So if you guys remember, we couldn't go past this guy because we weren't the champions. So. Let's go right ahead and talk to him. Eek! Champion! Do you want do you want to teach your Pokemon the marvelous move Steel Beam? Sure. Which Pokemon do you want me to uh, teach this move to? Now, Steel Beam is the strongest Steel type move out there, and I have quite a few Steel type Pokemon that I could actually give it to, and from what it's looking like, I might just give it to Steel or to Shadow Blade right here. Let's see. Let's check the summary. So let's see. I think I I think Steel Beam is a let's see. Hold on, just a sec. I think Steel Beam is a a special move right here. Hold on, it is a special move. 140 power of HP or 140 base power right here, and of course it does have 95 accuracy. The user fires a beam of steel and is collected from its entire body. This also damages the user, and from what it looks like right here, we are not much of a special attacker right here so that is probably not the Pokemon that I want to choose so we'll get back to this guy but this is the guy that you actually can go to to actually get the steel beam attack now let's go up the bike how we can go up the stairs on a bike is beyond me look at that look at that holy crud okay so there is another thing to on our way to tough the turf field that we need to actually go to and that is well first is first heal up our Pokemon we got to heal the Pokemon because yeah, don't want to go there unprepared and whatnot. Whew. Yeah, we are going on an adventure here, guys. A huge, huge adventure. And, well, we got this taken care of. Let's get the heck out of here and let us move on to the next thing. Okay, so, man, this this, this, this whole area, this the, the areas that we're going to be going to, it just brings back memories. Mainly because, wow, how we started a few months ago and how it's just going right here. Now, we like our Pokemon are way, 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 way too powerful for these guys right here. But I think we could take care of uh, ourselves. And hold the phone. We found something right here. Hold on. Found a revive that we failed to get. And look at that. Another campsite. And, well, oh, wow. Yeah, that's something right here. That's something right there that I can't... I, I couldn't even control the Roly Coley. This is exactly where we caught Krakatoa, who is now in Pokemon Shield. And well, Krakatoa becoming a great Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and get attacked by another Roly Coley. Holy crud. Roly Coley. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just get the heck out of here. Let's just run. Run from here and let us move on right here to the cave now there is some there is somebody here waiting for us in the cave and well let's see we just gotta locate her now if you guys remember we're getting a, we're gonna get attacked by these Pokemon as you can see here we have a Karkul another Pokemon that you know eventually evolves from a Roly Coley do not want to mess with this guy here do not want to mess with that yeah uh-uh but very, they sporadically just pop up out of nowhere now this individual might be here somewhere could she be here? Maybe? I don't know. Nope, not right there. Okay, so this is the outskirts right here. I already got the item. Let's go straight right over here. And try not try not to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. 
And, well, where... Oh, there she is. Well, hello there. I've been waiting for you. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, champion. I never thought I'd run into you in the mines. I've been doing some voluntary community service for Mr. Rose on Mr. Rose's behalf. Mr. Rose, a long time ago, used to work in the coal mine, you know? That's why I'm actually happy to with doing this kind of work. Yes, I'm so happy. I think I'll give you one of my prize lead cards. You don't need to worry. I have hundreds of copies of Mr. Rose's lead cards. They're all signed, too. And look at that. We get ourselves another rare card. And, well, Oleana is telling us, Champion, thank you for stopping Eternatus. I know Mr. Rose feels the same way, but he has just so worried about the future. Okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and take a look at another a super, like, rare lead card right here. So this one is Mr. Rose, and ooh, would you look at that. She's looking beautiful in the background right there. And this guy, he, he's just like, you know, he's just living his life to the best. So what it says right here is the Chairman Rose is a dedicated philanthropist who spent much of his own time and money researching the ancient disaster known as the Darkest Days, all in order to solve Galler's energy issues. He firmly believes that the actions speak louder than words and will often make decisions without revealing his thinking to others. For better or for worse, it is the it is his style of leadership that has followed the macrocosmos conglomerate to grow to where it is today. Note, the above text was submitted by his secretary. Huh. Yeah, she kind of changed that whole thing up right there. So, that's another one down. And I guess it's time for us to move on into the turf field thing, the turf field issue. There is some, there is some issue going off in turf field, and we don't want to mess with this guy. But we're racing this guy, and look at that, we're making it out alive. What's up? What's up? Okay. Okay. So, turf field stadium is next, and as you can see, this is. The beautiful area where we caught Pikachu, Eevee, where you can catch Pikachus and Eevees and all that stuff. Now, the main issue is right here in Turfield Stadium. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to have to switch it up because if I remember correctly, it is a grass type gym. So, bam. Hello. It's been a while. Alrighty. So let's see what the problem is. Checking off. And... As you can see, the gym leader is waiting with Piers, and he's like, Hmm, you're... Hello there, champion. So you came. What's going on here? <laughs> How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Piers, then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. Yeah, oh wow. Something big right here. Uh-oh. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard right. More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. I'd expect nothing less from the Gym Challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost to the, I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Draven. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard an uproar, and there was no way I could uh, leave it alone. I had to help out. So... Uh, Sorry, I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm. Those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get the Dynamax Pokemon and uh, to settle down first. I'd be glad for you to help against such a tough-looking opponent, Champion Draven. Of course. All right, then let's head into the pitch. I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame Pokemon, of course, but I'm just I'm still just a bit miffed that they upstaged me. You came too, bro, of the old champion. I don't know how much I can really help. He really can help. He lost to a few people, especially to a guy with a, a dick for a head and a shield for a head. Yeah, <laughs> we don't need this guy. If I could come along, I just might end up showing it, slowing you guys down. You are, I, I'm in agreement. You will slow us down. I don't really know about the guy, but I don't think Leon be, uh, uh, be all lost about this. Though he does get you, uh, he does actually get lost a lot. You coming? Oh, uh, okay. Let's do this. Piers might look scary, but he's great at looking at, after others. He's a big brother, after all. All right, we should get going too. Okay, alrighty. So here it is, guys. 
we're going to be going up against a Dynamax Pokemon. And, well, take a look. It's Serena. The leggy Serena. Okay. Let's go, Baconator. Time to destroy this Pokemon right here. And, yes, turn on the communicators. Let's get this. Go with the Dynamax and time to destroy him with the Max Flare attack. Here we go. Time to Digivolutionize my Pokemon right here. Okay, look at this. Look at that. Grow, grow, and grow! What's up, what's up? It's the Baconator. Alrighty, so a level 80 Baconator ready to take on some Serena right here. And of course, Inteleon's going with the snipe shot. Not that, not that powerful. So here goes with a max flare. Look at this hop. This is how you take care of business. You see? You see how much my how much I took? That's how you do it. And because of that, ooh, look at this. The sunlight turned harsh. And here comes Obstagoon with a throat chop. Here comes uh, Serena with a max knuckle. That right there is probably going on to Obstagoon. So say goodbye to Obstagoon. Bye bye. Uh oh. And well, there goes the Pokemon fainting. <laughs> okay, so here comes a Dragon Dance from Flapple. Don't know how that is going to help me, but I, I guess it's okay. And well, let's go right ahead and do this one more time. Let's go with this uh, Max Flutterfly right here. So Hobbs and Teleon is going with a quick. Sucker Punch, but it's not going to work. So here comes a Dragon Pulse. That doesn't doesn't do much. And here comes a Max Flutterby. There we go. Feel the power of my powerful butterflies. Say goodbye to Serena. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's up? What's up? So that's what happens right there. We defeat this guy. And, well, Serena is not looking, well, not looking so evil, but it's like, Mew! So we use a revive on this Pokemon, and, of course, it is happy, and, well, what's going on here? Whew! Looks like things have finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see your dislike for Dynamax, and it still hasn't changed, Pierce. But there was a, uh, there was definitely something off about the Dynamax uh, transformation. There wasn't any trainers anywhere, and the Pokemon seemed it seemed like it didn't even control it, the power itself. Quite right. Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax ban in order to Dynamax, but seems there there was a discord in harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Draven? I did. Oh yeah, I'm shaking my head. He's like, you did notice something was off too, huh? There's no trainer to be found. This is, well, this really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Turfield Jim takes a good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You, you lot really uh, helped me out here. Thanks, uh, thanks for that. Oh, and Draven, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. And look at that, we get ourselves another league card, a rare one, and all right then, follow me, little Serena. And look at that, the Serena is just using its moves, walking, walking, walking. Well, 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 looks like the Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion was expected, or as expected. <laughs> There's Hop, and he's trying to act tough to these guys. Hey, man, you lost to both of these guys. Just just shut up. Just shut up and l let me talk, okay? Ah, it's it's the two of you. I knew you'd b uh, be here. Give, give the rusted shield back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were your, uh, yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Ugh. Get over here I, so I can battle you. I mean, you could try, Hop, huh, but it's not going to end well. Trust me. I've seen it. It's funny. I will laugh at you harshly. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been uh, evacuated. The new law rules simply don't apply to us. Yes, that's what that that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who is this ruffian uh, to ask question uh, who question us? You're just someone with a strange face and, and hairstyles. Really? Bro, you want to talk about hairstyles? Look at your hair. Looks like a boner. 
His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it? Oh, isn't it, older brother? You think I'd put my faith in words from rude little punks like you? But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us uh, try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zam uh, Zacian and Zamazenta? You despicable champion. You're, you're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, you do your best to chase after our splendid looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you were the ones who, or so you were the ones who caused all of this. Stop! Calm down, Hop. You don't gotta act so hard. Yeah, seriously, Hop. You, you, you're not hard at all. The only thing hard here is that guy's hair. Trust me, I can go on with the jokes, but it, yeah. But, but they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be letting us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run unprepared. But still. Oh, fine. You're right. I get it. Good. Let us all come down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, oh, we are now. Oh, we know that their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax, and that they plan to continue doing it. I won't allow it. Yeah. This is no time to be hung up on getting back on the rusted shield. Draven, Pierce, we've got to go stop those two. Okay, alrighty, so we're gonna stop them, right? Yes, we are. Okay, so now something else is going to happen right here. Once we step outside, somebody's gonna be waiting for us outside right here. Mm, 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 nice sight to behold. Ah, there you are, Draven. Things are going a right, or things are a pro right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galar particle count around turf field had calmed down, I started getting a huge Galar particle readings from the whole Barry Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So what exactly happened in Turffield Stadium? Um, well, explain exactly what happened. What? A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Huh, those Sword and Shield weirdos did it, huh? Oh, Sonya! Uh, okay, this guy needs to just go away. Hmm, Hop, Pierce, see how she does- see how she doesn't acknowledge Hop? It, that's- that's just Hop. Pretty much Hop in his- in his life and- it, yeah. Why are you existing, Hop? <laughs> Piers, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at that spike month? I'm an ex-gym leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not what I... Uh, not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon in other stadiums. Yes, I'm getting to the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Town. I'm worried about Marnie. <sighs> but spike month should be okay, right? I'm, the only, I'm only seeing readings uh, from Holberry Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. Ah, I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Draven? Oh. I want to chase after those two weirdos, but yeah, let's go to the stadiums. <laughs> That's the spirit champion. Leave those, uh, leave those sword, sword and shield, uh, leave those sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around and set and net four sightings of them. We'll leave the research into uh, to this, or Sonia, was it? We should get back to the other stadiums and help out. Okay. Alrighty, so as you guys can already see, there are two more disturbances along the way right here in both Holberry and Motostoke. So what's going to happen right here is that we are going to go into the next episode and we're going to be taking care of business right over there. Now, Holberry and Motostoke, we can go back and take care of it right now if we wanted to and then or we could just go straight like straight to the straight right here just to get to uh just to get to what was it whole barrier right here but we're gonna take a pause give you guys time to watch this and all that stuff stay tuned guys in the next episode we're gonna be taking on both the whole berry and motostoke gems with these dynamax pokemon you do not want to miss this see you guys well see you guys next time